As many of you know, Star Wars is incredibly important to me and my whole family. I was so glad to be asked to share some insights uh, on this last Star Wars themed morning show opening. In The Empire Strikes Back, after Luke crashes his ship in a swamp by Yoda's home, Yoda shows Luke the power of the Force by lifting the huge machine with a gentle and slow raising of his hands. Shocked, Luke mutters, I don't believe it, to which Yoda simply responds, that is why you fail. This line echoes and strengthens the more famous quotation said when Luke attempts to lift the ship out himself. I'll try, he mutters. Yoda interrupts him with, try not, do or do not. There is no try. When we say we will try to do something, we leave room for failure, room for doubt, room to back out when things go off in unexpected ways. It's flaky, indefinite, and often the start of a do not. Sure, our best laid schemes may go askew, but stopping and allowing our do's to become do nots is up to us, a choice. I may not have gotten first in the race this time, but I refuse to give up. I did not win. Not this time, but I will. I will adjust and learn and continue and persevere. I will set myself to my goal and act as if it is impossible to fail, determined, knowing that my attitude and effort affect my result. I may not be able to lift a spaceship out of a bog now, but I won't stop until I do. The insights of Yoda even made it into the PRM announcements every morning. Make it a great day, or not. The choice is yours. Philosophy and life coaching aside, The Force Awakens promises to be a historic landmark film and a ton of fun. Regardless of all of the hype, quote, sub, and pop culture references and merchandise, if you get a chance to check out the film tonight or over break, at the very least, simply enjoy it for the wild ride it promises to be. As always, may the Force be with you. And with that, I send it over to our anchors as we get started. Thanks, Mr. Panolas. So awesome. Today is Friday, December 18th, and it's a day four. Alongside Devin Anello, I'm Michaela Bello, and thanks for watching. Apologies for any tech issues. We do our best to work through them. First up. Early reminder, short week next week. We will have a show Monday and Tuesday, but not on the Wednesday. It's a half day. For those that make holiday grand purchases, be on the lookout for holiday helpers today. Ms. Hendricks and Mr. DeWall would like to acknowledge the and the, thank Lucas Visaka for assisting with the production during the PRM Winter ga Holiday Concert this past few, sorry guys, this past, few, this past day. Great, yeah, past few days. Great job, Lucas. The French Honor Society is having a Christmas log contest next Tuesday, December 22nd, after school to raise money for UNICEF. The meeting will be right after school, Tuesday, December 22nd, in room 305. Bakers are needed and must be enrolled in French class. The sign-up sheet is by room 305. KHS students and staff members are welcome to stop by to sample the log and socialize for $3 pay payable at the door. Your donations help. All money will be donated to UNICEF. We hope you can join us. Moving along. Hey, big shout, hey, big shout out to students Alex Sarosa and Nick Damino. Camiano, I don't know. <laughs> they have an art display on the second floor near Miss Casher's art room. The students have started a comic corner series and both display some of their recent work. In passing, be sure to check it out. After viewing the work and reading the comic captions, you'll definitely leave you'll definitely leave with a laugh and a smile. Great job, guys. We certainly hope you continue to display and best luck. Best of luck. Keeping with the art theme, recently producers Carly Giacomino sorry, and Rebecca Gomez caught up with some students and they share with us what makes art so enjoyable. With more, here's the video report. because it's really expressive of your personality and you can do whatever you want. What art class do you take at KHS? 
I take art too. I take design fundamentals. I enjoy art because it lets me be creative and I can't always do that in my other classes. What skills that you learn in art help you with other classes? Well, art's really hands-on, so it helps you with other skills and other classes, like projects, and it makes you have better grades because it's more creative. Art helps me be patient because you can't rush through an art project. What's your favorite project you've done so far this year? My favorite project is the Animal Eye Project because you got to use a lot of colors and we use pastels. My favorite project was used with colored pencils and basically we had to do a mere, like a bigger image of a smaller image in a magazine and it was really fun. Thanks to Carly Giacoyo and Rebecca and all involved. Also, nice job goes out to Miss Egan and Ava Lutz and all who joined yesterday for the gaming tournament. Great turnout and it looks like the students take their first journey over the teachers. On a few, on a few sports announcements. Nice job and kudos to the Kinalon girls swim team with their victory over Morris Hills 103 to 67. The boys swim team also picked up a win cruising 116 to 54. Again, congratulations to the KHS varsity cheer team for being selected out of 40 other schools from New Jersey to perform at halftime of the 76ers vs. Knicks NBA game this coming Friday. Good luck to our cheerleaders. Best of luck to our boys basketball coach Arroyo and assistant and good luck to the girls basketball coach Fink and her assistants. All the best to both teams play teams as player and play teams okay, sorry. <laughs> it's Friday. All the best to both <laughs> to both teams players as you get your winter regular season underway tonight. Also, good luck to wrestling coach DeColo and assistants. Best of luck to the KHS wrestling team as they start their regular season over the weekend at the Mount Olive Wrestling Tournament. Hey, K Puck fans. A big hockey game tomorrow, Saturday, December 19th at Skylands Ice World at 2 p.m. The Colts take on Morris Knowles High School in an important league match. They're 0-3. Come out and support the team. Skylands Ice World is just a short ride up Route 23. Good luck to the team. Continue success to our winter sports coaches and teams. And catch sports, up, sports updates on Twitter at KHS underscore sports. You can catch updates for activities, athletics, and news on our Twitter account at KHS underscore sports or at Kinelon HS or on the KHS district webpage. You can catch replays of the show on K our KHS webpage, Colts News page, or YouTube. Just search for the Kinelon High School channel. Today's show was produced by Mike DeClario. Our director today was Lucy Amos. Our technical director was Tim Elefante. That's it for today. Short week next week. Have a great weekend. Okay. Yeah, it's okay.